Welcome back to ABC News Live. First, right now, Boeing Skyliner space capsule is preparing to dock with the International Space Station. Two NASA astronauts are on board in Boeing's first ever crewed test flight. The Skyliner capsule is in a holding pattern right now with Butch Wilmore manually piloting it. They're trying to save batteries on some systems after the capsule had a small helium leak yesterday during launch and more leaks today on its way to the International Space Station. Now Mission Control is testing to figure out if it's safe to let Starliner dock with the ISS. If it does, Boeing plans to keep Star, excuse me, Starliner at the space station for at least eight days before guiding it to a landing in the western U.S. ABC News producer Gina Sinceri joins me now over the phone with the latest. Uh, Gina, what can you tell us about what's happening right now? Is this a dangerous situation for the astronauts on board? Well, what, what Mission Control is trying to do is not have it turned into a dangerous situation. They've told the crew to hold off on entering the 200-meter-wide keep-out sphere. Now, that's a protective zone around the space station. In a call to the crew, the CAPCOM, that's the capsule communicator, Neil Nagata, said, here's the deal right now. We are zero-fault tolerant for control, so we cannot technically get into the keep-out sphere. That's the protective zone around the space station. So literally, Starliner is, they don't hover in space, but they're holding outside of the safety zone. So they're flying 200 meters outside, but, this, but uh, Starliner is being piloted manually by um, Commander Butch Wilmore. So this is all about the the moving and of the spaceship, of the spacecraft, right? So there are four reaction control systems, four jets were deselected. I know this is getting really technical, guys, but it's important. They were deselected earlier because of suspect readings. We're talking about those helium leaks. Two of them operated normally during the hot fire test and now are considered usable, but two are still questionable. So this is new territory for NASA. This is the first time this spacecraft is docking with humans on board. They're being very cautious. What are the next steps? We do not know yet. We just know that the next docking opportunity comes up in about an hour at 1.33. So, Gina, what are the risks involved in trying to dock with the capsule uh, in the condition it is now and with the knowledge that they have at this point? What the risk issues are, if these jets are firing unpredictably or not firing at all, if they have to make a maneuver uh, to dock with the space station, could it damage the spacecraft and the space station? Those are the risks. And, and how, how close are they in contact right now with the astronauts on board? How close is that communication between the astronauts on board and the people uh, here on Earth right now trying to figure out this problem? Well, Mission Control is in constant contact with the astronauts on the, on the space station as well as the Starliner spacecraft. Now, you have periodic moments when they fly in and out of Tejas range, that's tracking data relay system, satellite range, but they are in constant com contact. Plus, they're monitoring all of these systems 24-7. Mission Control works 24 hours a day, 365 days a week. So this is something that they're watching very carefully. But again, we've never encountered this situation before. So we are learning as we go on what the next steps are. NASA has a briefing, a post, it was supposed to be a post docking briefing at 3.30. We'll see what happens with that. And, and Gina, I'm out of time, but quickly, what happens if they can't come to a conclusion that yes, it's absolutely safe to duck? Um, you know, they have, Starliner is a very robust capsule. It would have the ability to return to Earth safely. So we, we're not there, we're not at that point yet, so we're still waiting to hear what the next steps are. All right, Gina Sinceri, thanks for breaking that down for us, Gina.